Boys Love. Annyeonghaseyo. Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love His Man 3. Um, <clears throat> we have watched episodes 11 and 12, the penultimate set of episodes before the finale. We're very excited. Uh, the season has flown by. Um, we just got... <laughs> For those of you who don't know, <laughs> we just got back from KCON in LA. So this is why this is coming out a little late. Yeah. Um, but we have officially just watched the episode and we are going to immediately recap. So uh, we're, we're staying on top of it for, for the sake of journalism. Oh. Oh. Eugene. Oh. And I got lucky. So f- before we start, I do want to do a, just a quick psych psych test. I'm gonna show some ink blots, and, and I want you to tell me what you see. Okay. So here we go. Here's the first one. Uh, opar. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> and this, do you see anything that's coming through here? I don't see anything coming through, but I ha- I see something coming out. You know what I mean. <laughs> And that's enough we, of that. Yeah, yeah. And that's enough of we that. Gotta, we gotta be done, honey. I was definitely, it was definitely less stressful than last year. I don't know why. I guess I was just like nervous last year because mm. we had never done anything like that before. We'd I, never met people. we never met people before. Yeah. We've, you know, we've been trapped in an attic for the past 32 guess, years. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, it was so fun. We met so many amazing berets. We met so many amazing idols. I met this group called Zero Base One. <laughs> we did, it's true. Um, and I'm sure you'll hear all about it very soon when I have did the uh, vlog together. When are we getting, when are we, when is His Man Con happening? Yeah. Because Jun Sung Ah would book it. For Absolutely. Sure. They would fly out. Yeah. For the meet and greet. I think a lot of them There would. should be a BL Con. And they could so go into allegedly, that. There was, there was a BL Con in Texas like three years ago. Oh. K pop, it makes sense that they go to LA because like there's such a huge but Korean for BL. community in LA. But I don't know where. What's the city where of the love? Gang ties Where's the city of love? In America. I mean, I guess it makes sense for them to, would have made sense for them to do New York since it's literally just the most populous city in America. Yeah. But that's not what we're here to talk about, RJ. No. Today we're here to talk about episodes 11. This isn't a BL, this is real. This is real life. These are real feelings. Can you fix your hair? Why? What's wrong with it? I don't know She's what's just wrong crazy with it. So like, I can't. I, how? Just try. As soon as the camera's rolling. But when the cameras were off, you're like, you look so good today, BB. <laughs> I've never said that once <laughs> to you. Never once. Uh, um, the day starts. This is day six. We are almost at the end of the, the show. Not the K-pop group day six. Is there a K-pop group named day oh, six? Oh, my tea. Girl, you can't do your testosterone now. She doesn't do it anymore because she started balding. <laughs> she, was, she was having like she was having like anger issues from the testosterone. So Adam said, "You're getting off that fucking." Shit. I said, "I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if your mammary glands are coming in. I don't give Adam. a fuck." <laughs> Now people are going to be like, wait, is RJ And that's for us to know and you to not know. The day starts with Hanmin and uh, Youngjun working out and having breakfast, making breakfast together. Mm-hmm. They're making like fried tofu sushi, mm-hmm. which is what? It's the little fried tofu. You make a pocket with it and then you stuff it with a mix of sushi rice, crab, and like kewpie. You've had it in some sushi places. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And then as they get up and prepare for the day, uh, it's raining again, by the way. This is what the I think they forgot, wild, forgot about when the they summer. booked the season is that there is a part of the summer that's drier mm-hmm. and a part of the summer that's wetter. Yeah. And a part of the summer. The part of the summer. They find out that they're going on the mailbox date. So the left mailbox, they got five letters. They're all going on one date. And the three that put it in the right isn't it funny they're right brain and left brain um but he, was it we someone said like if there were two things you are more likely to pick the one on the left or enter on i the don't left. remember who said it but somebody did say that it's either minson or would you have put it in the right or the left i put it right because they were both empty i think they cleared them out each time yes they, they clear them out each time exactly 
I pick right. I think I would have picked left because I always am very... Number one first. Yes. Two couples in Jaesung is in the five. Youngjun, Hanmin, and then Minsan and Myungyun and Jaesung. And then the other three, Hui, Songmin, and Seungjin, mm-hmm. are going to go on a separate date. Um, there's not a lot to discuss until we really get to the dates, but I did want to point out this moment where Youngjun comes into the quad room and turns on the lights to to wake up Seungjin. And I would have killed him. <laughs> this is like the w- genuinely one of the worst things. It's so funny because you reminds say- me of in. <laughs> In high school, I used to lead. We used to do. I used to do retreats and stuff. Church retreats, church retreats, and on day, it was like Friday to Sunday. And on day on Saturday morning, those who were on the team, they would start playing. It wasn't even that early. Probably it was like seven a.m. Yeah. But like as a teenager, was it like boys, on the weekend, right? Was it like Boys Planet where Jay Hoyne came out and started playing his guitar? It was, but it was not a guitar. It was because he could have played a guitar, but it was like the stereo system. And they would play um what's the what's the one song that's mashed up in glee in the hairography episode? You're asking me. Yeah. I'm so, walking on sunshine. That would be the song they would bump. I'm walking on sunshine, pocket up full of sunshine, or just I'm walking on sunshine. Just I'm walking on sunshine. They would play the original "I'm Walking on Sunshine" at at a at a incredible volume, mm. and turn on all the lights, and then be like, "It's time to wake up. Mm. Time to pray to the Lord. Praise the Lord." Not you. Very Stockholm syndrome. No, very uh, <laughs> not Stockholm syndrome. What's the one where they did the torture experiments? Clockwork Orange. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that there's multiple I could have used is really the problem here. Um, Jason is not thrilled about this date prospect because he wanted to go on a date with Songmin. Songmin feels similarly in that he wanted to go on a date with Jason, but right. I don't. I wouldn't say he's like annoyed about he, so it. So he's not. He he has never gone on a date except for that boring talking date. Yes, that That's I it. don't know. They, I mean, they both acknowledge in the episode that they want to go on a proper date, but they and they're not going to. By no, the way, the next episode is the end of the show. Yeah. They have not gone on a proper date, and they're going to pick each other. It's crazy. Um, they acknowledge that it wasn't a real date, and yet I still maintain that there was like maybe not. I wouldn't say no chemistry, but it wasn't a date intended to build chemistry. No. It was like a... Let's it, get out of here. It was a here. one-on-one. Yeah. 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 An interview. Um, there's a lot of fashion discussion this episode. We have couple outfits. Yes. Hanmin and uh, Youngjin are basically like coordinating, but then they're, they're like told to shirts. bring swim things. So everyone was like, okay, we're probably doing some Yes. Sort of the five date is told to bring swim things. Water swim activity. And yet he was like, well, I still want to wear my fishnets. And Diva, we were like, oh. Yeah, it was not. It was not. It, he mesh. meant mesh. Yeah, like yeah. a mesh top. Yeah. Um, And also like Myungyun and Minsan kind of match as well. A little bit. Not to the same extent that the other two do, though. But it's so funny because Youngjin and Hanmin look like they're about to go to Itaewon. And the other Fully. three. It's the middle of the, it's a day it's date, a day date on a day where it's pouring. Uh, pouring. Outside. And they, they are in full so black stupid. about to go. I mean, they look like if they were going out, I'd be like, you look amazing. Oh my amazing. God, that's great. But they but look so goofy. Everyone else is wearing like khakis. Right. It's very funny. Um, Hui acknowledges in a talking head that him and Songmin had a very uh, serious conversation last night and that Songmin has basically rejected him and that he's okay with being rejected. And he's okay, And yes. I couldn't tell if this was like a, who he is like, I'm okay with being rejected, you know? I'm, I'm like working through it. Or if he was like, I'm okay with being rejected. Yes, I know, me too. I, I couldn't, couldn't tell. tell. If it was like, I'm talking myself through it. Yeah. Because I do think there's a level of, uh, sometimes I think you can like, say you're fine enough to where you just become fine. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, not all the time, obviously. Yeah. But, I think you can like will it to happen if you just like manif. That's like true manifestation. And that's also that's been his energy throughout the show too. Yes, yes. Whenever he would get annoyed about Jason and Songmin, 
he would just be like, ah, it, he would kind of like make it a joke. Yeah, yeah. But this, he genuinely was like, no, I think I'm okay. And I think, I think it's okay. because it helped that he had a talk with Song Jin after. Yeah. But I also think to some extent, I don't think it was out of nowhere. No. The way he wrote that letter that we'll get to later. Yes, he could see the... The, the writing was on the, the wall. The writing is on the wall. Um, And then we learn that Sung Jin is interested in Hui. He says the especially words... Especially after yesterday's pottery date. Yes. He was like, it was the best day. So let's go to this this three, three-person three date first. So it's Sung Jin, Hui, and Song Min. They go bowling. No, I don't... Adam, don't... No, I'm just saying you... <laughs> <laughs> please don't spread false narratives not, don't, please don't spread I'm misinformation not, on the internet even, I was gonna say it looks like a really nice date they had fun okay they're not good at bowling right? they're not good at bowling they're not no good at bowling. it's true even but it's, Hui is not great at bowling yes. but he is the best of the three he was like I used to play a lot in Sun high Jin school is very charming and doing right. the like granny bowl which yeah. is fun but did it feel weird to you like watching people like, bowl so poorly much. no I I'm just you. asking why are you asking me that <laughs> I'm just a regular person who has no, gone bowling in the past. I just, I just feel like I mean, if I was someone who competed you're in a sport, so fucking annoying. You're like, so, so irritating. I just don't understand why you don't like talking about how you were like a like a semi professional bowler in high school. Why don't you like talking about <laughs> it? <laughs> because the people, like, people should know. Uh, you should be proud of uh, your skills, Adam. Mm. Adam used to be in a team. <laughs> he had a he had a bowling ball. Our school did have a bowling you were, team. Isn't that you funny? were in it, Diva. First of all, we know I wasn't in it because I was busy doing four shows a fucking year. Are you even recording this episode? Yes, I am. Look. <laughs> you just started looking at the recorder, and I was about to get so mad at you. If you huh? mm. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. You got to do it again. I we am bowled. a good bowler. You know what was yes, fun? I've beaten you. What's the I've... one where it's on a string? Duck Those pin bowling. Duck pin That's bowling. Fun. That was fun. Yeah. 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 That was cute. I have beaten you in bowling before, Diva Girl. Yeah, on like on on the Wii. <laughs> girl. <laughs> R.I.P. to the Wii. It was funny because they were both, I would say both activities today were more ac- active. Yes. Activities. Yes. Even though this was the more sedentary of the other one. Although the other one, you just get dragged around. Really. Yeah, the other one, you kind of just but get dragged around. But it's exhausting. Around, but like, it your is whole tired, body yeah. is You have tired. to hold on to the thing. Yeah. Um, so that would be a lot. I mean, bowling is like, you can do the, you can right. play the Songman way where you just toss a ball down yeah. the lane and you're like, I really don't care. Now, darts, <laughs> go karting. These are just mini golf. These are all just things that you do if you have a divorced dad. Mm. Go to the movies. Go to a go to a batting cage, another big one. Ooh, go to a driving yeah. range. Go to the races. Did he ever take no. you betting? He never N- took you horse betting. No, that wasn't really a thing. Uh, I got in a NASCAR. I was in a NASCAR when I was little. I had um, I hey, buzzed buddy. my head in the first grade. Oh, boy. And no hair. Oh, boy, and I boy. had a Jeff Gordon backpack. Oh boy! Jeff Gordon, famously number twenty-four, Dupont Racing. The Indiana jumped out, bitch. Mm-hmm. Hoosier. Hoosier. This is please cut all of that. <laughs> they go bowling. Hui wins. He gets two wish coupons. There's a lot of laughing and There's a lot of giggling. Giggling. Well, there's a lot of giggling because they're all bad. Yes. But there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of giggling between skinship. S- a lot of skinship laughing. Very Song Han Bin energy. Where it's mm-hmm. like <laughs> Yes. Um, between our two Judys. So, well, there are, ever, there are all, eight Judys on the show. There are eight Judys on the show. Sung Jin and Hui. Sung Jin and Hui. Um, I don't think, it's not like Song Min noticed, but Song Min, I think, was just trying to focus on like, oh, hey, it's not awkward between Hui and I anymore, which is nice. Yes. It like eased the tension. It eased the which tension. Which was nice. And I think Hui was doing, really trying to make it him, because we, up until this point on the show, has had times where he's been like a, a pouty a, sourpuss. Yes, he's trying so and hard so he's, here. To he be, was very generous to be like, just we're let's, laughing, let's we're having move a good past time. it. Yeah, yeah totally. Um, Hui wins. He wins two wish coupons. He says in a talking head that he wants to just hang out in the pool with Sung Jin, and that for Sung Min, he just wants to get along with Sung Min. Yeah, that's that's his friends. wish to both of them. So, there you go. Um, at the cafe after the date, 
Actually, they have like full lunch. It's like a restaurant. They have like pasta. Um, they Sungjin says that his most memorable time on the show was yesterday, but will not reveal what it was. It was a secret. It was a secret. But in his talking head, he does say it was the pottery date. Yeah, absolutely. And for Songmin, the most memorable um, time on the show was the exhibition. Um, and then they have like a little joke about how like Han Min, Han Min actually didn't want to go, didn't want to be there. Yeah, and who uh, Song Min was like, yeah, I, I wish I went with someone else. And Sung Jin asked who, and then he didn't answer. He just smiled. He was like, "Yeah, let's move on. Let's move on." <laughs> but I think I think this whole I think this date is really nice because I think like it shows how almost in his man it feels like. While they're not there, the explicitness of the show is there to like form a relationship. Right. They're really what they get out of the show in as a bonus is those is friendships. friendships. Yeah. And it is these like bigger dates, which they, they've done more of on this, this season, season than yeah, any season totally. before. And it's so nice to see all this bonding happen because A, you're going through something that what a like 12 20, other yeah. 16 other people have gone through before yeah and i can just say like i'm not i don't know if it's a one-to-one -one, but it feels like the older you get the harder it is to like organically make friends right. just outside of like your work mm -hmm. and so it's nice that like they can have this chance to like meet people and like whatever yeah. even if it's not you know i this is my best friend now from now on and forever it's just other nice gay guys that your... kind of go, no, go through what you're going through. Right. People it's who have different. shared lived experiences with yes. you is very important. Yes. It's a sense of community. Now, one thing I will say about this season, and we can talk about more of it next episode when I when I talk about like my, how I feel really feel about how the season was, is there is there's really no gay discussion this season. Oh yeah. Whereas last year it felt more explicit because Hobbit obviously was talking about like wanting to like get married and like have yes. like a life sanu had just come out like yeah they had the i mean they, they jason, do a pride jason episode. and Songmin have said like they want like a a, a, a long partner. term partner yeah, life partner so that feels substantial but like that's really the only kind of thing that's felt in the world where they're kind of yeah. addressing the and i do think this show tries to take as much of the political aspect right. of it as possible because i under i do, it's it's a hard line yeah. because you don't want to feel like your entire as a gay person you don't want to be like my entire my existence, existence is, is not just to prove to people that i matter right like i don't i don't want to just be like a poster child for a thing yes like it is nice that the show is like it's just it's the just, same dating show as every other show but it's just guys yeah like, there is that level of it but on the flip side they haven't done any lip service this yeah. season. So it is a little like, well, but you're not I, addressing the elephant in the room. But which I is do like, wonder, what are the hard parts of it? I do wonder if it's be it, because of the whole seasonality that they are going out more. It's like the summer. They have the pool. There's like more stuff to do as opposed to like last season where it's because it was in the fall there's something about it that it was just in the felt, winter it was yeah it just felt more like reflective because they were a yeah. lot I, I feel like there's been a there's been a lot of stuff inside though yeah, there's been a lot true. of like i thought they would have done more outside stuff well i mean people's thing about the casting this season you know people already have a have had opinions about like it just feels like these people don't some of the cast members are just like, they're more obvious. Like they're like models or whatever. But yeah, I don't really think that that's like the. F I don't know. Like everyone I do feels think to me on the show, and maybe I'm completely naive yes. and whatever. It doesn't feel like they want to talk about it, but it's not. But it doesn't feel like they're. It doesn't feel like anyone's like in there having also an identity crisis. Right. I mean, that's not to the point. This show so far in its run has never really had that as part of its no its thing. It's never no. really cast anybody who's like just even like with Sonu right. last year who had just come out. Dobbit officially like publicly came out. He was like personally out to like friends and whatever. But like even that, the show didn't really ever like have a talking head with like how do you feel about being how do you gay? Feel like being what gay? Did, what was it like right. growing up? Blah blah blah. Like don't they don't do that? That's like Drag Race energy where it 
like that is more the explicit well, getting political made, yes, like blah blah, yeah. blah 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 and i again i like appreciate that the show doesn't do that to some extent because it can feel like exhausting having to keep right. being like it's important and this is for why people it's to come out and, blah, blah, blah. and it is important it is important to but just having the show is already kind of doing that work yeah, yeah, yeah. sung jin asks song min about him and jason and song min like confirms that he's like the only one he's interested in mm-hmm. We that this table is like not looking so not in looking the eye. at him, but all of his talking heads have been like, "Yep, no, I." F-. So I think obviously he just in the moment in the being physically close to him. There's still like tension, yeah. Especially since they're a- talking about it without talking about it, yeah. But Sungjin reveals that he was the one who <laughs> asked in the anonymous questions to Jason, "What are your feelings about Songmin?" and it. And to everyone be had assumed who he wrote it. Who he wrote it when he because it was it. Songmin was one who picked it and asked. Yes, it just happened to yeah. And who he kind of was like, I felt so wrong. I felt like that was the moment I felt wronged. Yeah, because everybody took it the wrong way. Mm. Um, Especially one person, Sungjin. Then they talk about uh, th- the things they regret. Sungjin regrets. The letter he wrote last mm-hmm. night, and we'll get to that in a minute. And because then, he says it doesn't reflect how he feels today. Currently, yes. And we uh, reveals that his regret is that his vision on the show felt too narrow. He had he had honed in too specifically yeah. during the course of the show. But I do think the way he talks about it is like there is a regret, obviously. But I don't think he's like, but I wasted my time yes. here is wasted or anything like yeah, that. Like yeah, he's I not, agree. he doesn't paint this with a broad brush of being like, this was like a bad experience because of that. Like, I think he's like, it's like a learning experience. He's right. again, 22, 22, which is crazy. He was 22, now he's 23. But, um, but that's, I mean, I was even saying like, that's kind of a reason why I, I'm sure like an older person wouldn't want to because even though this was for the better right like I mean, he learned for the better but the Song, fact that he it proves it Songman's, point. Songman's point he's like oh then yeah he's over or something and now. not that i'm saying like i would have wanted him to like mope no. around and be sad or whatever but it is funny that one of Songman's worries was like what what if it's like not i'm looking for something long term what if he's like more flighty right. just simply because he's so yeah. young and he's so much more life to live like blah 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 and then it kind of I wouldn't say exactly as like a one to one, but it it doesn't. Yeah, it was funny. I thought about that too. It's just as quick as what he was afraid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the five person date, they're gonna go play water sports. So it's Jason, Myungyun, uh, Minsun, Hyunmin, and Youngjun, and they go on a bunch of like speedboat, um, mm-hmm. like floaty rafts, and then one of them was along. a giant banana. A giant hot dog. Well, yeah, the first one was a big banana boat, so they all like straddled this big banana, and that was fun. And then there was like a, and then there was a big, duck, big and then there was a tere. flying fish, and yeah. there was like, there was a bunch of stuff. Yeah, that's fun. It was all fun and goofy. Um, we really thought that Jason was like okay. So in the preview, for in the, the preview, they made it look like oh, fuck these couples. They're so happy. Yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving early because I'm so upset about how I'm not on a date with Song yes. right now. That is not, That's not what, what happened. happened. And this is why. And I do. I always think it's funny because obviously it's always the previews. They want you to come yes. back next week. The but previews it happened are again. always the one most out of pocket. But it happened to the next episode too because they played along that like, oh, is the love triangle back? Like, because Hui and Jason might like rekindle. Yeah. No. 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 Um, Jason is having the time of his life. He's like, has Girl, the all biggest. So they're much fun. all it's having so much fun. It's they're very all, funny. They all have these goofy faces. Young Jin is being a little fucking a little princess princess and it was like oh i'm falling like he keeps falling into hanmin yeah they're um they're, oof. their hi- oof. their height they're, difference is really oh it's, it's getting really to hitting it's really it's hitting. really good yeah i like them a lot together. i like yeah they have a lot of chemistry i think they do too and that's and i want to see I, it i want that i chemistry want to see with the hanmin Yes. Hanmin has slowly become my favorite person on this show. I know. I think I would be Goo Goo Gaga. I mean, like, I I I really love Myungyun. Like, I probably would choose Myungyun, but, like, Mm -hmm. Hanmin is. 
Oh, I think I, I don't know. He's kind of, the way he's kind of quiet too. He's quiet. There's a little bit of clumsiness. He's always smiling. Yes. Yeah. He's he just is genuinely smiling. Yes. And, and he he's fucking such a good looks listener. like this. I know. <laughs> but Jason catches a cold because it was raining while they were doing that, and he was just a little too cold. So that's why he goes home. Yeah, he goes home after the pizza party. They have a they have a pizza party they after eat, all this after all this nonsense. frivolity. Uh, like it's like it's your work and everyone's company morale is down. So they're like, well, you know, what we can do a pizza party. That was the energy it was given. <laughs> um, like you just won. Um, you collected the most cans or whatever you whatever you you, you got uh, the most box, box tops, tops for education. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you saved education. You saved it. So everyone's for like, Betsy DeVos to then ruin it. <laughs> Amazing. We did it. We did it, Joe. This is not a political this show. This is not a political Adam. show. As I just said. As you just said. Gays are not inherently political people. <laughs> um, what, you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, so Jason gets sick and he goes home. He takes medicine. Then we go into episode 12. They finish up the five person... D- well, now it's the four person date. The finish of the four person date, um, and then they're and they're really weirdly. There's no, they don't really talk. No, there's, there's no like, deep conversations that happen. I mean, it makes sense because like we have at least one ding dong here, Young Yoon. <laughs> so there's not a lot of deep conversations happening anyway with him. I'm teasing. I love him. I love him. Um, there is a little bit, they kind of like sprinkle in some Young Jun. Young Jun. Young Jun stuff of just like, yes, there might still be awkward. I still kind of bicker with him, but it's like all. He, in they good quibble. Fun. Yes. Yeah. It's how they, it's how they translated it. Yeah. Um, and then Min San is like, I know there's something know and there's, it does annoy me a little bit, yes, but whatever. I know it's not fully settled. But honestly, Min San is like, but here's the thing. I'm leaving the show with a man. So, so I don't really I don't care really at care. the end of the day. I think it would be worse if they're both they're both clearly leaving yes. with as couples. But that's the thing, if they didn't, if young if one yes. it was just one sided mm-hmm. or like one couple is like and then the then it would be crazy. Or if Myung Yoon wasn't like reciprocal. Right. Yeah. At all. They all go back after the frivolity. Hanman and Young Jun take a nap together. Hmm. Um this is very dangerous territory. Just be be aware. You might think, oh, it's just a nap. We're just friends. And then years later, you're married and living in an attic together <laughs> with a dog named Friedrich. So sometimes it's more than a nap. It's more than just a and nap. And when I say RJ and I napped, I genuinely, I genuinely mean, mean we would just We nap. would get like our last class, theater hislet, done. RJ was in a relationship. I was not. <laughs> But we would like cuddle and nap together. And we were fully like, we're just friends though. We're just don't friends. Don't be weird. Don't be, Ew. Don't make Fucking it weird. Fucking Fujos. Yeah. Online that kept shipping us. Our our acting teacher. Our, our moots. Our moots. Our IRL moots. Yeah, we had IRL moots that kept shipping us. Yeah. It was so weird. They would so like. Weird. They would. Well, they would come to my birthday with your picket. <gasps> don't do this. Myungyun and Minsan make dinner. Mm-hmm. They're making pork cutlets. Diva, don't tell me about pork cutlet because you know that is my. If I okay, I love I love anytime he does this. By the way, why? Because it's always a new thing every time. If I what? had a restaurant, Adam. I would have a pork tonkatsu restaurant. No, go ahead. If I were to have a restaurant, I would make pork katsu. I would have been your K-pop cafe. Well, it would be uh, there would be different items on the menu. <laughs> so it's not. So it is a restaurant or it's a cafe, or there's two different just, establishments. <laughs> why can't you support me in my dreams? <laughs> That's the question. You heard of the girl in the goat? <laughs> it's the boy in the boat. <laughs> the bitch with the boat. I I make a pretty. Is it, good it's costume. just cabbage, right? The slaw. It's yes. It's so funny because Adam. I think is that's your favorite cabbage preparation, right? It's, it's, it's just my fucking favorite. It's literally just it's so raw micro shredded cabbage, yes. but with like a sesame dressing. Yes. But it's it's because the pork is so fatty it's and so fatty. like whatever yeah. and it's so like uh okay, clean and Okay, acidic. the last place we went to, the last dinner we had at 
Oh. I didn't love that. I got you be didn't no. before karaoke. Mm-mm. Wow, I thought it was good. I liked that tonkatsu. I liked. I thought we it was good, and I liked making my sauce. sauce I thought that yeah. was fun. That was like the level of like cooking my own food that I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Uh, this is why I like going to like K barbecue with you because you do all of it. <laughs> um, but if it was like when we went to fondue, and oh, I had to yeah, do it myself, like, I was so mad. But that, yeah. Anyway, I make a really good katsu. Okay, diva girls. He does. That's true. So you do. Rarely, so. but you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in my home cooking era. I I see that. I saw that today. <laughs> And the pizza was good. 70% store-bought, 30%, 30% homemade. homemade. It's still made at home. Okay. Was the crust pre-made? Yes, girl. The crust was good. I know. It was Wasn't crackery. It? Yeah. I was surprised you liked it. Yeah. It was I, crackery. Like, I like a cracker. Oop. <laughs> cracker type <coughs> crust on a pizza. You like a crusty cracker? Is that what you're implying here, RJ? How dare you? I didn't have to imply it. People call people told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna address this. No. This is funny. This it's is funny. genuinely it's funny. funny. It's I funny. laughed it's a funny. lot it's about funny. this. It's funny. It's funny. But it it's it so, was funny. so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> Somebody came up to us like hey, kind of was like, Oh my god, RJ, you, you look, look so, so good in young person. In person. <laughs> no, they d- I said no. Young. They did not they say young. young. They no, they young. did not. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Yeah. They said they... you look good. <laughs> no, they said young. No. <laughs> they did not say young. <clears throat> they said you look so good nah. in person. <laughs> no, nah. the bugs. The bugs, buddy. <laughs> Me. No. <Nah. laughs> they said you look so good in person, <laughs> and I laughed because. It was like it's a little bit of a backhanded compliment, right? Because like, you it's, look the so insinuation like shit. Is, you look like shit. Yeah, because our computer can't handle this 4K, Mama. It's like when someone comes up to you <laughs> and they're like, compress- "Oh my God, you look sick. Are you okay?" And you're like, "I just didn't do my hair today, or whatever like, it is." Like, so you're, you need to you're insinuating off. that I do look like shit. Off. It has a similar energy. So I thought it was very funny, and they were like, "Oh no, 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 we don't mean it like that." Like. <laughs> they were like, you just look like so much different, different in person than, like, than no. on camera. And then they pointed at me and they were like, you look the same. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> locked. Locked. Clocked. Clocked. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really funny. <laughs> it was so funny. It was so meant to be really nice. Yeah. <laughs> it just <laughs> it um a lot of funny Jason inter- Derulo took a tumble down the <laughs> stairs. I'll just say that a lot of on the funny way to- interactions happen at KCon, especially when you like perceive someone for the first time. Mm. Our friend when when they were at their high wave with Ricky, all they could say was, "Oh my God, it's Ricky!" And, and Ricky he- goes, "Yes, it's me." me. <laughs> yeah. They made dinner. Um, Hui at some point goes to wake Jason up. Or Jason has woken up and he goes into his room to try to like start talking to him. Start talking I think to him. He wants to make amends, obviously. Right. Songman has kind of made his choice at this point, so there's not very, really a competition it's anymore. It's crazy that they're like, it's the last night. I should make amends now. Yeah. I mean, like the, I the only time it felt that way last season was obviously just Hyungjun because he still had, he was still trying to figure out. To if he needs to pursue Min Song or not, because mm. Min Song at the time still was not clear who he's gonna pick, and he had right. made it clear that like I'm waiting till the last second to yeah. pick when yeah. it's time to pick. Yep. Yeah. Um, they finally reveal the letters that they the letters get dropped off on everybody's beds. Um, the quad room everybody has one except Sungjin. Mm-hmm. Uh. Jason has a letter, and then Hanmin and Songmin have two letters. We has no letters either. Yeah. So let's go through these letters. So Songmin has a letter, obviously, from both Jason and Hui. Uh, Jason's letter is very nice. It's kind of not, it's just nice. It's yeah. just a nice letter. Hui's is an S. Hui's letter is a diatribe. I'm, I'm leaving for war. Hui's letter is yes, please think of me once I've passed on. Blah yeah. blah blah. Um, 
It's. I mean, they're all. All the letters are very sweet, and they're all very, all very much genuine. like very genuine in their own way. In yes. their in that's true to them. I think some of them were like, oh, like I can't express myself well or whatever. But Hunnam has never written a letter before. But it's like it's expressing exactly how you. <laughs> exactly, it expresses how you would, how you actually think and feel. So I think it. Yeah, I, I think I, like I think Hui's letter was very sweet. But even in the letter, he acknowledges that, like, it's, I've done everything, I, everything I, can. I can. Yeah, so as they said, I've done everything I can. And it's to, like, all try up to, to you now. And this, he wrote that before, obviously. Before they had the talk, They had the yeah. conversation. So, really I think it was stars. harder for Songmin to read, but I'm glad he didn't cry over it. Yeah. Um, but he was like, oh, this sucks to read. Hanmin gets two letters. Yuan is from Yongjun, which is, again, very nice. And he says... Youngjun reveals that he thinks he likes Hanmin more than Hanmin yeah, likes him. Yeah, he said, him. I think I like you more than you like me. Yeah. Which is very funny because Hanmin has been pursuing you since he met you, girl. But I I mean, I acknowledge that Hanmin has had a couple times where he's been like, you know, oh, like, that's we don't like- have to think of, we can think about, you know, having dates with other people or whatever. So it's not like he's like only has eyes, obviously, for Youngjun, but they're so... I like them a lot together. Yeah, yeah. So it was very interesting that Young Jun felt that way. Because yeah. I don't know if it... When they're together, it doesn't come across like one... It's one-sided and... Or yeah. it's heavier in one way or the other. Right, right. The other letter Hanmin gets is from Sung Jin. So this is the one he regrets, he regrets sending. And it is a letter that is really just like a... We haven't had a chance to really connect... You're the one person I don't that even I had have a good. crush on. I mean, he says like, I don't even I don't have, have a crush, crush on you. you. I just don't know who you I are. I just don't really know you. Anyways, have so, a good night. Yeah. Uh, but because like Youngjin was like, oh, I'm kind of curious, obviously. But he real he was like, I think it's Songjin, and I think it really is because he hasn't connected with him. And everyone's kind of said like, well, Songjin hasn't connected with anyone really in yeah. that way. Um, Youngjin gets a letter from Minsun. Minsun gets a letter from Youngjin. Okay, so this these two letters, it's they're very sweet. They obviously know that it's from each other. Yes. Um. People were saying in the comments from last week, though, that like there was a mistranslation. Oh, they did say that I think the other person likes likes me more. The sweetest part of the letters is not even reading the letters. It's afterward when Min San is like laying in bed. Yeah, next he's to, like, I could read this two hundred more times. It's very cute. Very cute. Min San is this was the my sister. Yes, this was the most that I've really felt like. Oh, here are the sparks, and I was like, wow, I think they are right. And, I mean. It did take them till day five to really kind of like let loose in this way. Yeah. So then ma- we're also saying it as if day five is like really like late exchange. in the process. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Day five is nor that's normal. That's normal. That's so normal. <clears throat> Young June gets a letter from Hanmin, and it is clunky. A little clunky. A little it's himbo. very cute and endearing in that way because yes. it is like clearly his. He's never really written like a love letter before, yeah, yeah. so it's very cute in that way. And his handwriting is like a five year old. It's very <laughs> cute. And then Jason gets a letter from Songmin, and it's like Hyung. Yes, it's, Hi, it Hyung. starts with Hyung. Hi Hyung. I love I love leaning onto you. Yeah, as my Hyung. Yeah. Pray that energy, but Jason cries because he gets the validation that like I keep feeling like I'm I'm being isolated and I I'm not getting a chance to like get through to him. But he's reassuring to me that I'm still his yeah his one pick. I think there's a couple reasons he cries. So let's really get into this we Jason situation. Yes. At all. So they talk. They talk. Jason pulls Hui into his bedroom, and he. Wh- I think really just wants to like bury whatever it is that they have going on between the two of them, meaning like the tension. Um, they were per- both actively pursuing Song Min. Min that was kind of bringing the energy down. Everyone was like, it's so obviously tense. Yeah. So the, f- like one of his first questions he asks is like, why did you write that letter? Mm-hmm. Or why did that you question. write the question? And he's like, I didn't write you a question. And then they, he realizes that he's referring to the question that they had just found out today Sung was Jin written did. by Sung Jin. He didn't say it was Sung Jin. He didn't say it was Sung Jin, but he was like, oh, I didn't write that. And so then this breaks the dam. Yeah. 
Because he was like, he's built up basically an entire story that we has been out to get him. Or like actively trying, which... I he mean, was the, like, he's trying to lead me to a dead end. Yes. And it was making Jason really upset. Yes. All because of this question, which is crazy to me. And like, Jason even says something to the... <sighs> Yeah, I mean, Jason even says, like, I was even thinking, like, at first, like, it may just be, like, a little friendly rivalry. Yeah. Or, like, a friendly competition. Mm -hmm. But then it felt so... It got very serious. It got very serious. Yeah. yeah. And, like, last episode... But they, the yeah. other thing, too, that I think is really interesting is that they reveal... I think they're the most open they've been about the fact that they were both each other's second Second, pick. yeah. And <clears throat> it's after this where... Hui gets like really emotional, mm -hmm. kind of a little bit upstairs, but then really downstairs. Downstairs after they've kind of like after they've kind of talked about already it. cried a little bit. But he, ba he, I mean, he, he says like, "You just looked at me so coldly, like I couldn't even look at you. Like you looked like you hated me." Yeah, and like it really hurt his feelings. And Jason has this thing where he says like. I'm sad because I'm realizing that my happiness comes at the expense of, of your happiness. Person. And I do think it's a very interesting way to look at it. And I do think it is, well, A, dramatic. But B, I think it's very like, uh, I, I don't know if I would ever think about it in that way. Mm. Like it's really taking the totality of everyone's personal experiences right. and like feelings and validating them in a real way that most dating shows do not do. Mm -hmm. Like, if there is a competition between the two, no one's going to get upset. If you, if you win, right. If you win the like affection of the person, you two people are both going after, you're not going to then be like, but I feel bad that I won. Yeah. Typically. And I think that's very, I don't know, like endearing. I just like, I was so touched by it. And I don't know if it is partly because he is also He's attracted so to Hui. Yeah. So there is a level of like, but I also don't want to see Hui upset. Right. But I also think there, and I think in addition to, because obviously like Korean culture, there's so much more emphasis on like age. And I think Jason. I think he really felt the pressure. Felt the most like, there's such an age gap between us and I should have been. I should be the one that's like more mature yes i yeah. should have been handling this maybe like 10 percent better than i did yeah even it, as frustrated he was getting by hui once he realizes that he misunderstood the question right and like it wasn't from hui and then he was like all these things i thought about hui were just manufactured in my by head me. yeah and i should have maybe been a better like yeah. young during this process hui like starts bawling in the kitchen he starts crying like jason really kind of like go because i mm -hmm. think he is hurt that he has made someone feel that way. Yes, like I sucks. think there's genuinely a lot of that on this season, especially is yeah. like a lot of people feeling very bad that other people feel bad because of decisions that they have that made. They make. Not that they've. I think it's. I think they're still setting their boundaries. Like I said, like we talked about this with Songman too. Like I think it's interesting that he felt so bad about the like the room change, but it was still he never really apologized for doing right, it, right? Like, right. he had no reason to. Yes. But he is, it's still an acknowledgement that, like, people don't I feel great feeling. about. Yeah. 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 But I'm also, like, a very sensitive person to, like, I'm just kind of, like, an empath. No. And so I totally, like, got where that's coming from in that regard. No, girl, if you see someone crying, you literally run. Because you're like, I don't want, I'm afraid of the emotions. Mm, depends. Yeah. If it was me crying. If it was you crying, for sure I'd run. Yeah. yeah, yeah You'd yeah. run me over, actually. <laughs> but what I thought was really interesting about this whole crying session that they were doing. There's a lot of crying. Because they just keep going back and forth of like, basically now recounting like, oh yeah, I, I felt this way about it. I did this. I said that. Blah, blah, blah. I thought about this. I thought about that. Is yeah, that they are still each other's second choice, technically. Mm -hmm. so there's still a level of like they were both hurt by what the other person was doing because they're still attracted to one another so they the were crime, forced they were in, they were forced into an enemy into situation. an enemy situation to be to antagonize one another and yeah. like the crying and like but they the, weren't but 
they weren't forced into it. They forced themselves, they forced themselves into, into, it into it because yes. that's what they feel like is expected. Yeah. Now, if they had just listened to our advice and just gone down the polyamory poly, route, we'd all be happy. Had, nobody would have to cry. Yeah. But you could tell that when they were like laughing, crying, and like trying to work through it, and even like Jason trying to be like, you know, come visit me, come visit mm-hmm. me, or whatever, mm-hmm. or like well, let's be friends. You can tell they are tr- they. It's all of those complex emotions of like the age thing, the love triangle, being mean to the other person, but also mm-hmm. like <laughs> I'm also attracted to you mm-hmm. too, and like I could I could also see like you and I being something. So it's like all of that processing at the same and time. The, I think the most fascinating part of the whole thing is that they they don't really talk about Songmin. No, it's, it's just really how they con- treated one another. Yes, it's, yeah. really, it's not a conversation about Songmin. And I think that's sometimes uh, like the, what is it, the Bechdel test where it's like two characters that have, they have to have a conversation that's not about a man, two mm-hmm. f- female characters, blah, blah, blah. And I like I feel like most writers would write it that they end up talking about Songmin and how they that, feel and about, that reveals and that's what they actually what it is. feel. But yeah. it's like more interesting that the in the reality of the real world, totally. their conversation was actually just about like how they've uh, treated one another. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was very cool. Yeah, that Songmin is just a way to get into like what was the true issue. I was very I was very moved by them being very vulnerable mm-hmm. and. Um, genuine. and even like everyone walking by that like heard Jason crying. Like Min Sun was like, I really didn't expect Jason to be the one that would be crying the most. He was like, Am I gonna cry too when I get older? <laughs> so funny. Diva. Min Sun is so funny. Yes. Yeah, so then Min Sun, speaking of Min Sun, Min Sun clears the air with Young Jun. He says, Let's talk Diva. about this anonymous chat situation that we had the other day. You were a fucking chat. mess. The group chat. You were messy. Boots. You were messy on a flappiata. Here's my question, and this and this could be just me, mm-hmm. because I am a person who is prone to apologizing even when it, there's maybe not something I need to. Does apologize it feel like Young Jun has an apology? Does it? It to me, I was like, oh, I wish Young Jun apologized in this conversation. But really, when I look at it. Minson is, and I don't think Minson needs it. Like it no. seems like they have the conversation. He was yes. Fine. He's just acknowledging. Like I know they're still whatever. But yeah, in my estimate, like it. for me, if I had been because Young- people said that about last week. Like people have commented. Like I wish Youngjin just said like he was sorry. And I think we said that like in yeah. the conversation with Youngjin, he didn't say sorry, but like he no, they both apologize. They yeah. do both apologize in that conversation at the cafe the next day. That conversation, because I remember looking for, like, mm. trying to hear the words yeah. to be clear that they did apologize. Yeah. So that one, they just apologized. I just th- I just was like, so Min Sun is like, you know, I was uncomfortable. It felt like I was intruding. I felt belittled. Yes, because he was like, I didn't get to talk. Because I barely got to talk. And Young Jun is like, yeah, I can see why you felt that way. And I think it was important that you, like, knew what our, the truth was about yes. our class bl- relationship right. and blah, 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 blah. Because you're also a part, like it involves you too. It just yeah. can't be something that. And I don't, I don't with. know if Young Jun has to apologize. Mm. I just was like, I would have, I think I would have apologized because I, from an apology perspective of like, I made you feel shitty. Right. Yeah. I apologize for that, for doing handling that in that way that made you feel bad. Um, but I don't know if he actually needs to apologize. This is like what I was trying to think about while I was watching it, because I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to snap to judgment and be like, Young Jun's a bad guy or whatever, because he's not. Like, no. whatever. That was just the only thing that I yeah. thought was really interesting is that he just they just kind of move on. I think it helped that Min Sun kind of acknowledged, like, look, I get it that was messy yeah like it the whole you guys situation had to is clean messy. it up yeah. and you had to do it so i just made sure I, I gave you the space to do it the final thing that happens in this episode is that um sungjin and hui are talking in sungjin in the double room is it the double room i think it's the double room mm-hmm. and sungjin it's like i need to talk to you very carefully extremely delicately and he's like you know, yesterday we had a great time. I had a really, and, I had a perfect day. And it was the first day that I felt sad like I would that be we sad have that to go we'd home. have to leave. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. He basically left all the breadcrumbs for we to put together, oh, he likes me. Yes. Without doing the official thing of saying like, oh, I like you. But he couldn't say it. He cries yeah. he because he couldn't say it. Yeah. He keeps crying all night because it just won't, he just isn't, he's mad at himself that he's like, why can't I say it? Yeah. Do you think we piece the puzzle? <sighs> I don't know. I think he does. Uh, Earlier in the episode. Uh, oh my God, my voice. Uh, Earlier uh, in, in the episode. episode. <laughs> Earlier in the episode. Hui says, when they talk about the letters, Hui's like, oh, I bet he wrote his letter to Jason because he still likes he him. Still likes him. And that's who he regrets writing his letter to. But then later he tells him he wrote it to Hanmin and he regrets it. So from that, maybe I would have, maybe Hui pieced together the like, oh, he doesn't like Jason anymore. He wrote it to Hanmin, but he doesn't, he doesn't actually mean right. what he said. He's telling me all this information about how today, yesterday's date was perfect. Maybe it's me. Like, from all those context clues, I think he could be able to get it. I just don't know if he will. I think because Sungjin kept being like... But also, it's still like, early. Like, he just, from right, yesterday, from was like, yesterday. I had a great day. Yeah. So, it's still early. And, like, the show's ending tomorrow. Like, there's so much pressure to be like, should I... Is it even worth... I keep thinking because Sungjin kept bringing up like it felt like today's interactions with Hui felt like there was space for more. Like he was yes. a little bit closer. He was flirtier. He was a little bit more flirty and attentive. Yeah. Like they kept he we kept making jokes about like what because you'll fall in love with me <laughs> and yeah. then like we'll do his Hui cover his face mm -hmm. and like Sungjin's like that just feels like it feels like small things are like crossing the line a little bit mm -hmm. which makes i think i think is what made him kind of like okay i think i can say it i think by him crying a lot mm -hmm. i don't know i think we probably figured it out i don't think the show was going to show us because i, was, I think they want to save it yeah yeah they want to save it for next week i was very i listen was i hope they do for all, if we get, if I'm we genuinely, get four, if couples four couples next walk week, away together, I will pass away. I yeah. will simply pass you away. You will see a person faint on Patreon yeah. next week. I, I think that I was surprised at how emotional Sungjin was yeah. over it. And I do think there is a part of it that is like his frustration with himself. With that himself, that like, he can't break out of his own shell. Right. That he can't like... A, a, Reveal Shit, it in reveal that way. Reveal his feelings. But, but he's not been able to reveal... I mean, it's anything, just to yeah, anybody to this whole time. To anyone. He's kept, like, Jason, he never tried because he was like, well, it seems like he's Han on Min, his it was, all, it was too late. Han, he couldn't even... Han, yeah. Han Min, yep. And I think, like, he... In that way... We should okay, be Okay, so the there's, one. like, people from the beginning of the show, basically, have started to parallel his storyline and Dabit's storyline yeah. from last year. And I do think they're completely different characters mm -hmm. like they serve the the i they're so different. as characters and as i think like just like personalities correct like, yeah but i think also like there is a oh i hope dabit doesn't watch this there is a joy that sunjin has that i think because of where dabit was post his breakup from his previous relationship that he did not have on his man uh that I think like is what is so nice about watching Sungjin. Yeah. And I think that if if he does end up with Hui, it's because Hui he, made they him... have been so ingratiated to each other because yes. of like how much like how much obvious fun they have together. Yes, totally. And I think there's like a really could it just be platonic? Sure. But I think there is like real space for an actual if deep they, relationship that is be, yeah, is born out of a up, friendship. If they pick up if I mean case studies right here, girl. Um anecdotal evidence. If they end up picking each other and even if they say like and I don't even know if this means that we'll go on a date mm -hmm. or or we'll date. Yeah. But you are the one person that I that I couldn't have done this without. I just don't yeah. know if Wee's gonna get there. That's the only thing. I think Sungjin might choose him. Yeah. I just don't know if Wee's gonna choose him or if. But I don't. 
I don't think I Hui's going to do Hui's gonna pick Songmin either. But if you have to pick someone, who would you do? Yeah. I don't know. So I don't know. It, it if, if if he gets the clue that it's that Sungjin likes him, he might oof. pick him. And that's cr- I, I mean know. from a storytelling pr- point of view, like the the way that they have like sealed the deal couple by couple and if this is the last one. Yeah. Leading into the final episode. I mean, we we really has been the main character. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the episode. Next is it one more left. episode or is it It's two. They're going to split two. Okay. It'll be two two episodes next week. Well, here we go. 